Time once again for Park City Television's Drink of the Week. Joined, as always, by Jimmy Santangelo, a.k.a. the Virtual Sommelier. Uh, Jimmy, what are we talking about today? Uh, we're talking about Beaujolais today, Ori. Now, uh, people are familiar with that because <laughs> this is right about the time of the year when the, the Beaujolais Nouveau comes out. That's right. It's the Beaujolais Festival that's celebrated in the month of November. The third Thursday of the month, the Beaujolais Nouveau is released, so we'll be able to enjoy it this weekend. Fantastic. Looking forward to that. But but uh, a lot of folks don't know that you can go with a lot of other stuff beyond the Nouveau. No, you're absolutely right. Beaujolais is a large region in France, just south of Burgundy. And Beaujolais Nouveau is that younger, early released, uh, easy drinking red uh, made from the Gamay grape varietal. But it does have a variety of other Beaujolais crews or other quality wines. Well, let's first uh, talk about the one that people are most familiar with, uh, you know, the, the Nouveau. And uh, you brought last year's version. Yeah, uh, we, <laughs> of the Beaujolais Nouveau. We have the Beaujolais Village, which is just a little step up from the Beaujolais Nouveau. It um, has that easy drinking uh, quality to it. And if uh, we know that uh, the Beaujolais region produces the Gamay grape varietal, mm -hmm. uh, it's produced with a Gamay grape. And we have a series of Beaujolais here to walk through. Okay. So we have the Beaujolais Village, and then in Beaujolais, you have the region, you have 10 Beaujolais crews, and that refers to different appellations or villages that produce uh, different styles of the Beaujolais uh, uh, wine. You have Bruy, which is the largest Beaujolais crew area, and within that, you have Côte de Bruy, which is a little higher quality within that region. We then have uh, Julianas. Julianas Beaujolais Crew really sets the standard for the highest quality production of Beaujolais Crew. Mm -hmm. Additionally, we have a Fleury. Uh, Fleury is a, a more feminine style. Um, it has a softer, silkier, sexier, more of a feminine uh, Beaujolais crew. And then uh, finally, we have here the Morgon. Morgon produces Beaujolais crew of a real masculine, firmer, very age-worthy, um, sellable style. You can age it for five to uh, three to five years easily. Mm. Now, you know, people, uh, I think, uh, are, might, might be a little thrown by the idea of a, a masculine wine or, or a feminine wine. Sure. Let's talk uh, first off about uh, the Beaujolais Village. So the Beaujolais Village you have here in your glass, mm -hmm. and we were looking at this earlier, and you have it, if you can see into that, it really has a nice uh, purpley color, shows a nice youthful uh, characteristic of a wine on the, on the nose aromatically. Mm-hmm. A lot, of, a lot of cherry and cranberry, just very uh, grapey even, you know, and very easy mm -hmm. drinking, soft, um, not real aggressive in its tannins or not super dry. Indeed. Um, just really juicy juice. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, <laughs> but not, uh, not the juice box variety. All right. And then on the opposite end of the scale, we said this one has a, a real purple color. This one is more the traditional sort of red, the, the garnet that, uh, as you described. That's right. This would uh, demonstrate more of a garnet color where you have the edges are going to be a little more tannish, a little browner going on. That's due to the age as well as just the maturity and how it's, how it's looking. Mm. And it also does have a little bit of a heavier yeah. finish uh, on, on the back end. No, absolutely. I think a little more drier tannins come through with that as well. And it's nice to explore Beaujolais because we're all accustomed, as you said, the, the Beaujolais Nouveau. But there's a lot of great Beaujolais crews out there that you can really enjoy. And the 2009s are looking real good, too. All right, fantastic. Jimmy, as always, it's a pleasure having you here. If people want more information uh, or want to take some classes on learning more about wine, how do they get in touch with you? Yes, uh, the Wine Academy of Utah is at Pago Restaurant in Salt Lake City over at 9th and 9th. We hold sessions on Mondays. Fantastic. Uh, and if people want to contact you, how do they do it? WineAcademyofUtah.com. Fantastic. Jimmy, thanks so much. Thanks, Ori. That'll do it for this edition of Drink of the Week. Prost. Drink of the Week is brought to you by Butchers and by these fine sponsors.